Good morning, you guys. It is Thursday morning here and we are in town getting ready to go grocery shopping. Currently, we're in the grocery outlet parking lot. We're gonna go here first. Then we're actually gonna drive over and say hi to Michael at work. And then we're gonna head over to Winco and get the rest of our grocery shopping done. I don't think I need to go to Walmart today, but we'll see. I thought about going grocery shopping for the next two weeks, but I think it's just gonna be easier to do it week by week. So we're gonna head in and get our grocery shopping done. I'll take a few clips while we're in the store and then we'll check in with you guys when we get back home. Bye. 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 Alright guys, it's a little after 2 o'clock and we just got home. That shopping trip took forever. The first grocery store we went to, there was like nobody there. It was super nice. But then once we got to Winco, it was packed. And there was a couple things that I had never bought before and I was searching for. And I was also searching for some free Ibotta deals and so it just took me a lot longer. But we're home now. I unloaded all the groceries. But before I show you what I picked up, I'm going to show you guys the weekly meal plan. All right, guys, here is my meal plan for this week. Again, like always, super simple meal plan. Thursday tonight, I had some ground turkey in the freezer and I set that out. So we're gonna have turkey tacos. I'll have mine as a salad. Tomorrow, Michael and I are gonna have a date night. So we'll probably go out to eat. On Saturday, Michael's gonna make dinner. He's gonna make those beef spare ribs that he got in last week's grocery haul. And he's gonna make it with mashed potatoes and roasted carrots. Sunday, I'm gonna make a chicken marsala and we'll have that with salad, maybe some bread. Monday will be a leftovers night. Tuesday is gonna be turkey meatballs and pasta. Again, I still had some frozen turkey in the freezer, so I didn't need to buy any meat for that. And then Wednesday is spicy pork tacos. All right, guys, this is everything that I picked up for this coming week. A lot smaller of a grocery haul than the last couple of weeks, which is fine by me. The first store that I went to was Grocery Outlet. Now, I've mentioned this before. Sometimes Grocery Outlet is hit or miss, and today it was a miss. All I got was some unsweetened vanilla cashew milk some salsa verde and then i just picked up this cheap bottle of red wine michael's going to use this for his short ribs and then i'm going to use some of it for when i make chicken marsala and then the rest of the stuff i picked up from winco so i'll start over here i picked up this huge five gallon jug of water we did have a brita but we ended up getting rid of it we didn't like it and so we're going to use a five gallon jug now we bought a little attachment that pumps the water out so i picked that up i got some light sour cream cottage cheese some more Chobani, some Dairy Gold cheese. This actually had an Ibotta for it, which is perfect because I needed cheese anyway. I think it's like a dollar back. I picked up some pork carnitas for when I make spicy pork tacos, some pork sausage for a breakfast this weekend. And then this right here, I don't know if I've ever bought dough like this before, but they had an Ibotta where it was free. You got the money back that you spent. So I picked that up. I can always just throw it in the freezer. I got two dozen large eggs, some pie crust. I'm going to be making a pecan pie here. I don't know exactly when, but soon I'm going to be making some pecan pies. I picked up some tea. Now, I normally don't like tea unless it's peppermint tea, and I was all out. So I picked up peppermint, and then I saw this decaf vanilla chai, and I thought I would try this with a little bit of almond or cashew milk and see if I like it that way. So I picked those up. I got four cans of tuna a big bag of potatoes. This is just cornstarch from the bulk section, regular white sugar, brown sugar, two new toothbrushes. The kids wanted new toothbrushes and I mean, you can't say no to that. So I got two toothbrushes, some creamy peanut butter, Powerade, and then this right here is a really good deal. So if you guys have Ibotta, check it because I had a free Gatorade Zero. They're going to credit me $2.36 and this only cost me $1.18. So they're actually paying me more than I bought. So pick up a Gatorade if you find it and it's a good price. Chocolate Jello. This is for the dessert that I make with the Chobani. Let's see here. Oh, I got some kisses because I'm going to be making some peanut butter blossom cookies. A pineapple. This was such a good deal. It was only $1.50 and it's a, I mean, that's a huge pineapple. So what else? I got some cilantro, 
This is mushrooms for our chicken marsala. Three oranges. Two cans of con uh, sweetened condensed milk. This is for some sort of recipe I'm making. I think like a seven layer bar. Some mandarin oranges, Barrett's favorite. Some light corn syrup. I had never bought corn syrup before and I seriously looked around for like 10 minutes before I actually found this. And of course it was with the regular syrup. So some corn syrup. The kids wanted to pick out some mouthwash and they picked out this like really fancy, I don't know, some sort of fancy mouthwash. Some lettuce, apples, cucumbers, tomatoes, bananas, and then a bag of cranberries because I'm going to be making some cranberry cookies. So that's everything that I picked up for the week. I will add the two receipts together and add the total right here on the screen for you guys. Okay guys, here is my December grocery budget. Still have not changed it to December since I accidentally wrote November, but down here today, Winco was $100.69. Grocery outlet was $9.47 for a total of $110.69. But with my Ibotta, I just scanned my receipt and I'm going to be getting $5.69 back for a new total of $105 for the week. So I'm really happy with my weekly total. I feel like for the week, $105 is pretty stinking good, especially since I had to buy that five gallon jug. I think that was like 11 or $12. You have to buy it and then you have to pay to fill it up. So I feel like for the week, that's pretty good. Plus I was able to stock up on some baking stuff that I'm gonna be needing over the next couple weeks. Um, I was also really excited that I was able to find some Ibotta deals. I have not gotten any recently. I don't hardly ever shop Ibotta unless it's either going to be free or make me money or it's something that I'm already gonna be buying. So I was able to find a lot of freebies. Make sure to check your Ibotta and see if you guys have those freebies as well. If you have not signed up for Ibotta, I will leave my link below. Um, it does help me out, it gives me points and I think it gives you points when you sign on. So I'll leave my Ibotta and my Fetch below. I was able to get a little over 100 points on Fetch today, which really isn't that much, but it adds up slowly. So I think in my Ibotta right now, I have like $35. And in my fetch, I only have five. I just cashed out not that long ago. But that is the end of the grocery haul for today. I just wanted to say thank you guys for tagging along and we'll catch you on the next one.